Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Well, the heat is already starting to creep up here in South Texas. And one of the first signs that the weather is changing is that our doors tend to creak or just binds up. I noticed that my door to the garage is a little bit harder to close and upon a close inspection, I noticed that it is not aligning properly. It has a bigger gap at the bottom and getting narrower on the top and the opposite on the other side, bigger gap on the top and narrowing at the bottom. Well, to better illustrate this, I got out my arts and crafts skills to show you how my do door looks like. Let's say the white paper is my garage door and the blue paper is the gap or let's say it's the door frame. So the normal door should have equal spaced gaps all around. Well, my door right now because of all the use and the weather it is tilting to the right. So there is a bigger gap on the top left side and here on the top right and on the right side bottom. Now how to fix this short of taking off the door is to first tighten the hinge screws and if it doesn't work then we need to use a shim on the bottom hinge so as to push the bottom side of the door to the right. When we put a wooden shim on it, it will hopefully look like this. So from this to this. Hopefully we can realign the door and get it as square as possible to the frame. So this is the hinge that we need to work on and I'll just push the shim in after I loosen up the hinge screws. So let's open up the door and loosen the screws on the bottom hinge. Now what I'll use is a wooden shim that I bought from Lowe's for less than 2 bucks. There's like 12 shims in a package and there has a lot of other uses aside from shimming doors or cabinets. You can also use this to mix paint or spreading glue or use it as a garden markers or sod stakes. As you can see it has an angle cut so we can easily push it in the hinge without taking off all the screws. I just need it a little bit thicker though so I have to cut the narrow part and you can easily do this by, just by scoring it with a utility knife and snapping it in half. Then we just need to push it in the hinge and you can adjust it to where you have an equal gap from the door from the top to bottom. And if everything looks good, then tighten back the screws. Now you can see that the gap is almost the same from top to bottom. Then same thing on the right side of the door. Now to take off the extra shim, the same thing, just score it again with a utility knife and snap it off. Now the door doesn't bind and it closes and opens like new. So hopefully you like this video guys and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to get videos of everyday life hacks and product reviews. Thank you.